So what if I was to tell you that not only is everything energy, and so life is kind of an illusion. It is a virtual reality. It is a hologram. It is kind of the matrix because everything is energy. And that I can't just tell you that, but I can prove it to you because I can teach you how to see energy and that energy is everywhere. If you want to know the real truth, you have to experience it for yourself. There's no cheating there because when you can see it and you can see it with your own eyes, a profound transformation begins because there you are and it's alive and it's real and it's right in front of your face. You begin to see reality for what it is, not because you think it, but because you know it. And it's so simple, it's almost funny. But here it is. Step one, you want to start by turning down the lights. Get yourself in a slightly dark, dimly lit room. Now, you want to close your eyes for just a second, and you want to visualize bright white light, which is energy, prana, filling the entire room. And you want to visualize it almost to the degree that you can feel it if you can't actually feel it. And so when you see the energy in the air, you want to inhale. And as you inhale, you want to pull that energy into you. You want to absorb it. So inhale and pull the energy in. And exhale. And you want to do this three times. So close your eyes. Visualize the energy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, pull the energy in. And now open your eyes. And you want to look around the room. You can also look straight ahead. But the main thing is, is you want to be relaxed and you want to use your peripheral vision. And so that means you want to look at what's most in the corner of your vision, not what's straight on. If you've been practicing seeing the aura, you're actually going to find this is going to be easier. So next step is looking around. You want to try and notice a slight static in the air. It's going to look like a bunch of little dots or a bunch of little pixels, kind of like the old TV stations before cable and not the wavy lines, but just these little, little pixelated points. And you're going to see it kind of floating in the air, but of course it's not actually in the air. It's everywhere. And so you're just going to try and look for this static. Now it might help if you look at a blank wall or something that's very plain, maybe like a couch or your floor even. The static is going to look like it's over everything. It's going to look like a texture, like a layer. Now if you're having trouble seeing it, you actually want to turn your lights down even darker. Try even pitch black. Sometimes in the pitch black, the static's going to pop out. The trick is, is first noticing it. Once you notice, you want to actually breathe in with your eyes still open that energy and then try and increase your vibration. What you're basically doing is you're trying to get your mind to tune more into the energy, which is going to make the static seem brighter and thicker. It's not because the energy itself is actually getting thicker, but it's because your mind is actually tuning more into that frequency of energy, which makes it appear brighter to you. So one thing we're going to do right now is we're going to apply a special effect on the video, and it's going to make the static come out so you can get a better sense for exactly what it is you're looking for. Another thing to look for is once you can start to see the static, try turning all the lights off. And what you might notice is as you're looking at the different particles is that you might notice that they have color. Some are slightly blue and some are slightly red. And just like the aura, the more you practice seeing the static in the air, the brighter it's going to get, the easier you're going to notice it. Even in broad daylight, you'll be able to see the static energy everywhere. Once you begin to enter into this energy reality, things won't play by the same set of rules. You might notice that walls begin to breathe. And sometimes things will even appear translucent or transparent. And that's because you're tuning in more as things truly are, as energy and not physical objects. More than likely, you've probably seen energy in the air before, most likely when you were younger, but you taught yourself to ignore it. So try and bring it back. When you combine this with seeing the aura, the two accelerate each other. So try working with both at the same time. If you like this video and you're able to see the energy in the air, 
please share your experiences, comment below, and join us on Facebook. That's it for today. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to clean your home of negative energy and reprogram it with positive energy so that your life starts taking a positive direction.